Hello, Rough Rider Nation, and welcome to the Rider Report, the ins and outs of Yavapai College Athletics. I'm Brad Clifford, the Athletic Director here, and I'm joined today by our softball coach, Doug Eastman. Doug, welcome back to the program. Thank you, Brad. Here we go, spring semester. Are, are you a little bit excited about it? I am. I'm ready to go. We get uh, we get going on January 13th with practice, mm-hmm. so we'll get going there, and then the first game for the softball team is January 25th, so you have about 12 days to get this team going, but they'll be January 25th and a doubleheader in Henderson against College of Southern Nevada. What excites you about this this upcoming season? Well, I think the overall dynamic of the team. You know, I, you know, each year you kind of address your needs. Um, I'm really excited about our pitching staff this year, Brad. I think it's one of those things that we've been missing a little bit, especially in postseason, is to have that presence in the circle. And 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 for me, um, we really haven't had that presence since Amy Robinson, which right. is really our last All-American pitcher. So uh, I'm excited about. The five pitchers that we have and uh, our overall depth in our team is real solid too, Brad. So, Doug, let's talk about as you go out recruiting, what's, your, what's the first thing you look for? Like, and I'm going to go back to my basketball days. Mm-hmm. Mine was getting a big and a point guard. What are, what are your priorities recruiting? Well, it's, it definitely starts in that circle, Brad. I mean, if you want to go a long ways in postseason, you've you got to have somebody that can shut down the opponent. And, and as you know, We've been one of the leaders in the nation offensively mm-hmm. for a number of years since I've been here, and uh, that's not always enough to get you through postseason. So um, we address that. You know, I, I talked to Coach Bennett about it, the importance of having a pitching staff. And, again, we go back to the era when we had Amy Robinson here. Uh, we really didn't have anybody to compliment her. Right. And, and a lot of times you run out of gas when you're playing multiple games in the postseason. So... I think this year we've addressed that, and we have a number of arms, I feel, that can come in and dominate a game. You know, and I'm always amazed that pitchers, softball pitchers, can pitch consecutive games, consecutive 140 pitches, and, and uh, but they do get worn out at the end of the season. Well, they really do, and uh, it's a lot of innings by the time you get to the end. But, but again, I, I think we really do have a number of arms that can come in and, and pick up where our last pitcher did. So it's not really an ace. I, I, I think we can have a number of aces on our squad. Five-handed monster maybe, right? Yes. All right, tell us about the team a little bit. Let's begin with the, the returners. Well, we got a great group of sophomores. we got five coming in and, and really going to help us. Uh, you know, you got Lex behind the, the dish here mm-hmm. as a catcher. Uh, Bama, which is a great story in herself. You know, she had fantastic numbers mm-hmm. last year, and she broke her finger. So. She only played half a season. Um, She hasn't been able to play a lot of ball um, since she hurt her finger. So we got to get her back going. But she's going to be a huge part. I mean, Mm -hmm. she had great numbers in in half a season. And then you got our All American Shaylee Alani at second base coming back. She's a fantastic player. Of course, we're going to count on her to to duplicate what she did as a freshman. Uh, Michaela Marquez out in left field, uh, fast, dynamic player, great throwing arm, um, just a great table setter for us. Uh, Vanessa Gomez, a fantastic, solid outfielder. You always know what you're going to get with her. Right. Some very professional at bats when she comes in. So, you know, when you look at those five, that's a great place to start. It is good. Those are good sophomores. And you speak of Bama a little bit. That was a nasty break that she had, and and it took a long time for her to rehab that. So, fortunately, we had this the fall for her to get some games in because, like you said, she hadn't played a lot of games before the, the injury. She hasn't. It's going to take her a little bit. And, you know, it's not one of those things where you just jump back in the lineup and you're, you're Bama again. Right. Um, we have to be a little bit patient. Um, maybe she comes back quicker than I think, but uh, the bottom line is she has a great talent. Uh, you, she had 10 home runs for us in 15 games right. last year. And, boy, if we can get her centered in that number four, heel, uh, four hole to protect Shaylee Alani in the three mm-hmm. hole, now you have something. She's talking about Shaylee. She's she's an All-American candidate. She was an All-American last year. She, I mean, every kid that steps on the field is an All-American candidate. Uh, but Shaylee had a special year, and she's a special player. She really is. Um, you know, uh, she's already signed, of course, and, and, and ready to go. So her comfort level is, is where it needs to be. Um, but as a left-handed hitter, uh, with her kind of power, hitting 18 home runs as a freshman, hitting, uh, you know, in the middle 400s, mm-hmm. Uh, she is a special player. And, and one of the things that excites me about her is she can pull the ball. She can go the other way. Mm-hmm. You can't pitch her any one way. She's patient. She'll take a walk when she needs one. Very smart on the base pass. Not a speed demon by any right. means, but really understands how to run the bases. So 
she is uh, she's just an all-around great player. We're going to surely miss her when she's gone, but uh, we get to watch her for one more year. Yeah, and she throws the leather pretty good as well. She is a very smooth second baseman. Um, makes things look very effortless. Right. So, uh, yeah, well, you know, I, I'm excited to see if she can duplicate those numbers. It's always tougher to duplicate the numbers the second year because you're not a surprise. Right. So uh, that's but, why it's important that Bama. Uh, fills that four hole. It, it is so. So they can't pitch around her to get to somebody else, and it's it, Bam is going to be the key also to her success. Exactly. Uh, how about some newcomers we can talk about? Well, we got some good ones. Um, I, I think uh, we don't exactly know what they're going to do yet. But when you look at uh, Sonoy from Las Vegas, she's going to she's going to be catching. She's going to be playing some shortstop. She's going to be playing some first base at times. She's going to be our true utility player on our team. Uh, she swings a very strong bat. So. And, and she just does a great job wherever you put her. And, and you got Espy at shortstop, a very athletic young lady that can do a lot of things. A, a great base runner also can really set the table for us. And then you go around and, and Alyssa Carpio out in the outfield, uh, a strong left-handed at bat. She'd give us some power in the lineup, which we're looking for. Mia Weckel in center field, a uh, fantastic athlete from Vegas, strong uh, you know, left arm throw, can cover a lot of ground out there. Uh, can do some good things on the bases. Uh, Bella uh, from Colorado, fantastic right fielder coming in. I, I think she really opened my eyes up in the second half of fall um, where she did some great things. So Annalie Rio, she's, she's one of our pitchers, mm -hmm. and she can play third base. She's a great athlete. So we have a lot of things. The, the, the local young lady, Jenna Smith, I mean, really opened up my eyes. I mean, what, what a fantastic job she did coming into the fall not being intimidated and, and working hard, and, and, and she can do some things for us. So you look at the dynamic of the players that, that we have to complement our sophomores, I mean, I think we're going to be really strong. So you talk about the fall. Tell us about the fall. How did the fall go for us? Fall went really well. I was really, really happy with our pitching staff. And, and uh, you know, again, you got Jackie uh, that was our, our, our pretty much our number one pitcher in the fall. But we have a lot of ways to go. Hannah Shearing, fantastic pitcher. Um, you know, we, we didn't talk about Cameron. Right. I, mean, I mean, you're looking at Cam, uh, didn't get to play in the fall because she was rehabilitating, uh, rehabil rehabilitating a ACL. But holy cow, the things that she can do. You know, she was pitcher of the year in, in, uh, in Hawaii. She was player of the year in Hawaii. Right. So she's going to get in our offensive lineup she's going to swing the bat play some first base and, and maybe play some outfield when she's not pitching so uh cassie a young lady that we have coming in in the spring right. um another great pitcher for us that can come in there and and throw in the low 60s and really compete at a high level so we have a lot of pieces a lot of ways to go to piece out the lineup uh, now we just got to figure out what's best for the team. Yeah, keep the coaching out of the way. We might be all right. We may be okay. <laughs> exactly. So let's talk about the league a little bit. It's, it's, I think it's a strong league across the country. I mean, we've got four or five teams that can compete at the national level. I mean, you throw a Division II team, Phoenix College, in there that could compete at the Division One level anytime. Uh, Arizona Western, Central Arizona, Pima, us, uh, Eastern Arizona. It's a strong, strong conference. I mean, I think it's as tough as it gets. And, I, and, and we talked about this before, Brad. The fact that uh, you know there's been a different team go to to the national tournament five straight Every years, year, right. and that's how tough it is. Now, I think it's going to be tougher this year, and I'm looking at some of the rosters. Uh, the reason I know is because I tried to recruit some of the players that went to other programs, right. and they're all loaded. It's going to be a very very competitive, tough year. Um, it's uh, again, do I feel good because we have. Uh, some depth in the pitching staff? I do, but we're going to need it. They're yeah. really good. Right. Yes. Uh, let's go with your field. We got a brand new field. I say brand new field because we got a brand new outfield. We're going to get brand new uh, bullpens out there in the outfield. We're good. We got a brand new infield. Uh, it's going to be ready. I mean, I'm excited. I mean, uh, to get that outfield done and taking the old turf out and laser leveling it and getting it smooth with new sod. Um, you know, we, we added warning tracks to the mm -hmm. field. Um, our infield, I thought, was, was always in pretty darn good shape. You know, it was a nice infield. And then putting the bullpens in the outfield kind of makes it more of a stadium-type mm -hmm. deal. Uh, so I, I think it's going to be great. You know, my last thing is I want to fundraise to, to get the, uh, you know, the uh, batting cages in center field. Right. And then everything will be down at the bottom 
and it'll really feel like a, a nice uh, stadium there. But I'm excited. A lot of stuff's been going on down there, and I think the teams coming in will also appreciate what we've done. We want to th we want to thank the city of Prescott on that. We partnered with them. The the, the field was uh, it, it had been there since I played softball there back in the '80s, so it, it needed a, a rehaul. Uh, so it is flattened. It's it's smooth. It, it, it looks like carpet, quite frankly. It does, and the city's been great um, with this project. They've been down there working their tail end off, mm -hmm. and 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 doing a lot of things and getting their equipment down there. And, and I can't say, uh, you know, Adam's been spearheading this project with me and done a great job. And we had some people donate some time too with mm -hmm. excavation and some different yep. things. So this has been a project, uh, community project, uh, to give the girls something they can be proud of. And, you know, I can't thank everybody enough. Absolutely. Well, as stated earlier, we open up the season on January 25th in Nevada against a pretty good CSN team. Mm -hmm. And then our first, then we go back. Uh, uh, actually, we, come, we go down to Gateway on the 28th, I believe, uh, in a non-conference affair with them. And then we go back to Vegas and play in that big tournament there with uh, a lot of good teams we'll be playing. Six more games. Six more games. Yeah. And then we open up with Pima down at Pima. So right. uh, welcome to it, right? Yep, let's go. <laughs> let's go. All right, you can get a whole schedule at www.goroughriders.com along with all the other ins and outs of Rough Rider softball, Rough Rider athletics. Additionally, be sure to follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. And we look forward to seeing you out at our ball games. Uh, I know the teams would appreciate it. We would appreciate it. And you're going to see some fun softball. So as always, go Rough Riders. Thank you.